James Fox, the owner of Dawn Runner Productions. And I'm Jeff Peck, the Vice President of Technology for Dawn Runner Productions. And we're a boutique film and video production company in the San Francisco Bay Area. Every year we do the game show graphics for the Game Developers Choice Awards and the Independent Games Festival. And this year we had a particularly challenging development. The night before the show went live, we were asked by the client to change the font. And the way the show has to work is changing the font means re-rendering the entire show. Re-rendering the entire show was at least a week's long prospect. And we didn't have that time 24 hours before the show. With that last minute change, we were literally staring down the barrel of a gun because we, we never like to tell our clients no. And we started weighing options. And it was like, well, we could tell them no. No, that's not gonna work. Okay, I can, uh, I can drive back to the office. I can tear down the render farm. I can bring all 10 computers and the server equipment back to the show, set it up behind the show, and we can try to get it rendered out. We knew from prior experience that even those 10 computers weren't going to be enough to get it done. CPU-based rendering wasn't going to get the job done. We had this panic moment where we were all just standing there going, anybody have any ideas? But luckily we had the Maximus system there on site with us. It had a Tesla C2075 in it, a Quadro 6000, and we hooked up directly to the screens there at the award show. The client was able to sit in the audience we showed them in real time the changes we were making. They said, yes, we love that font. Actually, they said, no, keep changing it a few <laughs> times. But after that, we, we settled on a font and we were able to then move right into rendering. Actually, with the Maximus system, we were able to use 3D Studio Max. We were able to use Adobe After Effects simultaneously. So while I was showing them the changes I was making in one application, I was already starting the render process in another application. And that was really the only way the job was going to get done. So not only did we take this challenge and we went from possibly telling a client no on something that they really wanted and, and that honestly was going to make the show better, we went from that to no stress, running through lots of options, Jeff got to sleep, which was a first for the show all because the Maximus system was there with us on site. Not to mention the clients were thrilled. And still are. That really opened our eyes to GPU computing and the power that's there. I mean, with the Maximus configuration, especially with CS6 taking advantage of some of the CUDA accelerations with its built-in ray tracing, we were able to move to a more parallel workflow where one person was able to simultaneously work on multiple different aspects of a project. I'm turning one artist into an army of artists. Instead of having to give a workstation to a compositor, a workstation to a B compositor, a workstation to an editor, I can give them a Maximus system and they can literally do all three of those jobs with one person, one station. That power, that flexibility opens up massive doors for the post world and specifically for us, for motion graphics and for these types of jobs that are so complex and so intricate that changing one thing changes the entire project. Now we can do that and not worry about it. Investing in a Maxima system was probably one of the best things I've done.